Hi, today we're going to see how to create the banana text effect in GIMP. So first I'm going to remove the background from this layer here. I'm going to select this banana here. So press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in to be more precise and then select the path tool. And now I'm just going to draw selection here to draw a path around the banana here. So here it is, now I'm almost done. I just need to link the last path with the first one. So keep the control key down here and then left click on the first one to make path here, to close the path. And now I'm going to copy this selection. So control C and then control V to paste it. So here, as you can see, it's floating selection. So click on this icon here to paste it on a new layer. So double click on the name here and I'm going to name it banana. So here, press enter. If you want to remove these paths here, just select another tool like this. And then select the banana layer, layer to image size. So here's our layer here with the background removed. So here's the original image or layer. So I don't need it anymore now. So I'm just going to fill it with white. So I'm just going to drag the background color like this. Now let's show our banana layer and now make sure the foreground color is black here select the text tool the font i'm using is poppies bold so left click here to create a new text box and then i'm going to type my text here so here it is Control a to select all the text i'm going to increase the text to the font size to 320 press enter so here it is. And now I want to place this text on this banana here. As you can see, there is a curve. In order to do so, I'm going to select the path tool. So I'm going to create a path from here to here. So here, I think I'm going to leave it like this. Now, if you want to remove this path here, just select another tool. So if you go to the paths tab here, so here is our curve here we just created. So go to the Layers tab now, select the Text tool, this one here, right click on it, and then Text Along Path. So here it is. And now if you go to the Paths tab here, so here is our text here, on the path here it's with its red outline. So double click on it. To make it on the path here, as you can see in the tool options, the path tool is selected. So now I'm just going to fill it with black. So select the layers tab here. I'm going to create a new transparent layer. So click on this icon here, fill it with transparency, and then press OK. And now make sure the foreground color is black, and then just click on fill path, and then choose fill with solid color. Check the anti-aliasing and then fill. Make sure to select the new layer we created. So here it is. If you want to remove the paths here, just select another tool. And if you want to remove the red outline here, just go to the path tab and then just click on the eye icon here to hide the path. So here it is. Now we don't need this text layer here. So I'm just going to delete it. So click on this X icon here. And now just select the text layer. Now I'm going to move it like this. I'm going to place it like this. And then in order to bring up this text here, I'm going to use the warp tool. So I'm going to increase the size here. So in the tool options, the warp transform is move pixels. So I'm going to increase the size. Here are the settings I'm using. And then I'm just going to drag it up like this in order to fit in the banana here on the banana so here like this so i'm going to drag this one here so 
So I'm going to decrease the size and then just move this part of the A here, this part of the A here, like this, this one here, and then the top one a little bit up. So I'm going to select another tool to confirm the warp. So select another tool like this. Now I'm going to hide this text layer here. So I'm going to duplicate the banana layer. Click on this icon here. So here it is. Select the text layer. Select the text layer here. Right click on it. Alpha to selection to make selection of the text here. Click on this icon here. So here it is. Select the banana copy. Right click on it and then add layer mask. And then check the selection layer mask and then add. So here it is. Now if I hide the banana layer, so here it is. It made selection of the text from the banana layer. So I'm going to show the banana again. Now select the banana copy. Right click and apply layer mask. So here it is. And now just to remove the selection, so go to select, none, and now select the banana layer, this one here, and then just erase here like this, so here it is. It will keep the letters. Control Z if you did some mistakes here. So press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in. Now I'm going to reduce the size here. Try to make it smooth here like this. Control Z to undo. So here I'm just going to use the warp tool for that. So reduce the size. So in order just to make so make sure to select this part here. So I'm just in order to bring it a little bit to make it smoother. Control Z to undo. So here like this, and now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. So I'm going to select another tool to confirm the warp. So press the plus key, I'm going to fix this part too. So select the warp tool again. So make sure you're on the banana layer, this one here that has this part here. So I'm just going to bring it on the A here and then make it smooth. So here it is, I think it's okay here. So just select another tool. And now I'm just going to hide the background layer, new from visible. So I'm going to hide these two. So here's the background. So I think that's it. That's how we can create a banana text effect in GIMP. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and uh, till next time.